we live with this reality. And that's why we want this reality to stop. And we can't stop it by just, okay, we threw a little missiles on Gaza and like go out and okay we do like a truce no we can't stop it because in a month and so it will continue yep. it will not stop yep if we will not stop it right now let them understand that we do not accept it we do not accept the bombing we do not ex- ex- accept anything that they do that affects as a threat on us, they will never understand and they will always continue. And I will say more, and we supply the water and the electricity that they use. Israel supplies it. So to say that we are not a monetary, that's ridiculous. That's the most absurd thing I have ever heard. If we, would have stopped their water or their electricity every time a bomb fell in Israel, you know what? They would never shoot again. Yep. But we're a monetary, so we won't do it. We won't take their electricity. We won't take the water because we're a monetary. But we keep on getting bombed. It's absurd. It what is kind of country will do that to herself? Only Israel. But the world keep on screaming at us. Yep. No, and I, I, <coughs> I hear like the emotion you're bringing into this, and it's crazy because all it really comes down to is sharing. Um, first of all, it's not about sharing. I don't think it's about sharing. They don't want to share it. They want it all to themselves. But you're willing and to share. When it. you you're, know you're dealing with. Are you willing to? Sh- are are, are most? I real- am sharing. I'm sharing right now. Sharing Jerusalem with them. I am. Yeah. And I'm sharing a lot of different parts of Israel with them. I am sharing. But they don't let me they don't let the country to share it with them all the way because they keep on bombing us or attacking us or doing something that causes risks to Israelis. So we can share it. The Gaza area, we share it. Like, it's our, I know it's, like, theirs, but we give, as long as we give electricity and as long as we give water, I consider it ours. A lot of areas in the north of Israel, is they have so many villages there. They have so many places to live that nobody in Israel goes in because we're scared, because they the last time that someone went in to a uh, Arabic city, he was lynched. Lynched. So I can't share it. I already gave them something and they decided that it wasn't enough. And you can't share it with someone who does not want to share, who wants you give them a finger, they they want the whole hand. So you can't give them everything. You can't. By the way, this is, you know, this is great. I'm really happy that you're, you know, really sharing it from the heart because this is what this is all about. That's what my company, Vonvo, by the way, is all about. We want to empower people with an opinion, give them a chance to share their mind, uh, excuse me, speak their mind um, about, you know, real current uh, crises that are going on and, you know, revolving around current events. And, um, you know, with this crisis going on right now, you know, I obviously wanted to reach out to people such as yourself and others. Um, to really have their opinion to be shared because it needs to be known what, what's really going on. Um, another thing that I wanted to bring up, um, you don't have any like pictures on your phone. Eh, it's not going to come out that well. I was going to ask if you have any like pictures on your phone of when the missiles were going off um, that maybe you wanted to show to the camera. I actually do. Yeah? Can you like point them at the camera uh, where your face is right now and see? Sure. I, I don't know if they'll be that clear. They probably won't be, but we could try. Was it pictures of, like, people running away and stuff? I'll try. I can, first of all, that I can, this is, I don't know if you can see it. Okay. This is my friend, which is, she's an officer in the army, and she. Uh-huh, I see it. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I see it. She's, while sirens go out, she's in the shelter. Uh-huh. Um, so. 
away from. Again, that's that's their shelter. Um, gonna try and find. I know you can't understand because it's Hebrew, but this is a picture of the screen of my friend, which you can see about every few minutes there is a siren. This is. It says oh, is that on like our a, phone is when that the a, siren goes it, out. Oh, so it's like an update screen? It has updates of what's going on? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So that, About is that... every siren because she she lives in an uh, area which the siren go she, in the southern of Israel, which they have sirens all the time. Uh, this is... Okay. You probably wouldn't see it, but... This is a trail of uh, Kippat Barzel, which is also known in English as... As what? He, the something dome. Iron dome? I don't know. Iron dome, thank you. So what was that a picture? <laughs> that was a picture. Just say what that picture was again. What was it? Of the trails in the sky. Oh, oh wow, 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 wow. Okay, got it. Got it. Makes sense. Okay, I see it. Okay. Yeah. And this is uh, bombing shells. Bombing shells, so like that they've bombing discovered shells. inside Palestine or? No, this is in Israel. It's uh, at my friend's, near my friend's house. Got it. So... Wait, is that that's like a fallen missile that landed near your friend's house? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. So you literally were just able to walk where did it hit her house? Did it hit yeah, did it hurt um, anyone? We have no 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 no, God forbid, no. Um we have uh directions not to touch any bombshell. Oh my goodness. So, it, even if you see one, you can touch it. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's that's amazing. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad I asked you that question because I saw each of those pictures pretty well. And that's nuts. Uh, I think it's, do you think it's got to come from the citizens, like such as yourself, the reporting? Ultimately, like when it comes to, uh, you know, these larger companies, uh, the mass media, corporate media, it's just because they, you know, they're just the. It's just totally coming from the top. What messages are being broadcasted, and it's not giving everyone a, uh, you know, an open voice to voice their opinion and share their perspective. Do you think that might be part of the problem? I think it's a major problem. I think it's a major problem. The media does not do Israel justice, not at all. Yeah, and there's and there's we yeah lose yeah. Yep. We lose the public <clears throat> sympathy because of the media, not because what's going on. Are you concerned they that it's... always... Yeah. No, I, I hear you completely. Um, would you... Do you think... Uh, what's, your, what's your old... Let's, let's go then into kind of like the end result stuff. It'll be a good way to transition into, you know, finishing up our Vonvo discussion right here. Um, what I was going to mention is What's your opinion on whether or not this ground invasion should begin? Um, do you know where any soldiers are located right now? And, I mean, uh, do, you, do you think it should happen? Um, you know, obviously knowing that there could be a ceasefire put in place if you don't invade. Um, what's your opinion on what you think sh should happen at this point in time? <laughs> well, uh, I know the soldiers are all being uh, sent to the southern part of Israel. Um, I cannot say where, but um, they are pre prepared to go in. I know some of them are re really frustrated that they spend some of them a week already um, without doing a lot of, except practicing. They do want to do something. Um, but you know what? If we can make it work without are soldiers going into an area? I'll be the happiest person alive. But I don't think we can. I don't think we can right now. 
not we can't allow ourselves not to continue in this operation yeah. because that will be such a defeat to my eyes if if we settle for a peace if, if you guys settle for a peace fire you're talking about and don't go in yeah but like if they settle for a pe- uh, peace a uh, truce and they get all the things that they want to get no problem no problem i'll sign it sure why not but we won't like the the hamas will not give up on the stuff that they want and we should not agree 